Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy with his Trex Nitro Pro converted to a Helibug conversion with a 271 gasser engine in here. Um, what I was going to work on and show you is a product that I found. I know a lot of people are using the Joule generators. Um, nothing wrong with them. I have one on my other birds, but they have uh, the motors, the brackets, the couplers. Um, you have all that extra weight plus all the electrical systems that go with it but doesn't make it a bad system but what I found was this company I hope I pronounce it right Hillantronics I'm hoping that's what it means that's their logo um, I'm just gonna put it right here for now have that holding it up <coughs> And I ordered it, it was $124 uh, for the setup. And it came two days. Uh, they haven't, they're made in Australia, but um, there's actually a company in New York too that's kind of supplying them. What I want to show you is the box open. It comes with, this must be like your phase and voltage regulator because you need the three phase and all that or it doesn't work on three phase it works off a magnet this time the joule generator works off a three phase rectifier and then a voltage regulator so it comes with the uh, BEC or voltage regulator whatever you want to call it and let me open up the other bags here it comes with a digital voltmeter and a plug and the most critical component goes inside the motor. This is the the coil pickup or alternator. Everything's already pre-wired. Um, I think in the future maybe I'll hard solder everything, but for this video we're going to install it the way it is. And it also in the bag it comes with a bolt and an adapter screw for inside the motor. I guess it fits inside the motor with, well, I'll call it a magnet, but it's actually just an alternator. It's a coil with a pickup, so that's what's going to pick up the energy. All right, so that's what comes in the box, plus they send you, they were nice enough to send me the instructions ahead of time, but it actually comes with them, and it's called the iGen RC Electric Generator. It's set up for Zenoa and CY engines. Um, I think it's above 23cc if I remember. Yeah, 23cc to 30cc it will work on. But there's your instructions and every, it comes with everything but the uh, battery that you see in this picture in the receiver. Uh, you have to add all that stuff yourself, which you already have. Um, so let's get started on this. I'll be editing the film because I'll have to stop and go on the uh, taking the heli apart. I probably don't even have to remove this, but I just picked this up so I don't want to wreck it. All right. So the first thing we need to do is get the skids off. So I'm going to tip the bird upside down. Alright, so I'm going to see if you can see this, which you can't, so let me raise the camera up. Okay, so I raised the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, people will probably yell at me for standing my bird up on the fly by this head, but... Okay guys, so now that I've figured out what tools I need, like I said, 
First thing you got to do is take the skids off. Okay, so four screws to take the skids off. Next, we have to remove the Helibug uh, engine plate, but that's attached with the four bolts on the cover or Allen keys. So we'll remove those. Yeah, I'm just going to lift the uh, heli plug, heli bug, sorry, uh, engine plate out of the way. And I'm just going to tip it a little bit like this because we shouldn't have to really take it all the way off. It's got the Stata Gator in there and everything, so I'll just leave it alone. And there are two other screws on the pull start cover in the back. Now these are just Phillips heads, they're plastic to plastic. Fairly easy to remove. Now we'll take the pull start off. Just watch your wire right here. Sometimes you need a little help getting the cover off. Okay, I just pulled that right out of there. Pull stack cover. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this heli plug, heli bug. Sorry, I keep heli plugging it. The heli bug motor plate. Kind of drop it out of the way. All right. So now we got the cover open. There's a hole right here. That's what we needed to access. So I'm just going to tip it a little bit here. See if I can get the camera in place. See if I can zoom in for you here. All right. I use a little pointing tool. Right here, I guess, on most of the, uh, I don't know about all of them, but this is a knower engine. There's a threaded hole right here. This is what we're going to utilize um, for the coil magnet. We also have to remove these two bolts here on the magnet so you have to watch your spacing right here on the magnet so you put it back in the same spot but if I bring up the uh, alternator pickup you'll notice that it's going to cross those two and then right to that hole that's already part of the engine so let's take that loosen up the ignition coil I don't think it's that one. Okay. And yes, we're going to have a little issue here with the... Um, little issue with the spacing on the magnet. Just want to see what I have here so far. It's a lot thicker than that. All right, so before I loosen these two bolts on the magnet, I'm going to get a feeler gauge and check the spacing before I loosen that because the motor was running pretty good, so I want to keep it in the same spot. So I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, I put a feeler gauge in here. It's a perfect fit for the coil magnet. So what I'm gonna do is loosen up the coil now. Take the two nuts out of here. Might have to pull a plug out of the way here to connect some to get the bracket in there. Okay. Find my needle nose. Or let me see if I can sneak the bracket for the pickup coil. There's the pickup coil. I'm going to see if I can sneak it by so I don't have to disconnect any wires. All right. Just want to check if the holes all line up so that looks pretty good. Let me pull it out for a second. All right, so the first part, the first part of the instructions is we have to put the little uh, the hex adapter in. I'm going to pull these out here. They call it a threaded spacer, and here's the special uh, Allen with a shoulder on it. But here's the little threaded spacer. It comes with, they call it a spring washer, but it's a lock washer. I'm going to put a little... Um, Always remember to lock tight everything. Of course, the one wrench I forgot is for this nut, so I'll be right back in a moment with a nice handy dandy wrench. Okay guys, I'm going to tighten up this spacer that's given to you by Electronics. I was very unprepared without my ratchet here. Make sure I'm torqued properly. Got Loctite on there. My favorite friend, the pair of vice grips. All right. So now that we got the spacer on next to the fan, we can put the whole I'm going to call it a coil for the alternator. They call it an alternator, but it's basically like a coil. And it has the connection on it. So let's put this back right in here. And I gotta get this up underneath. 
I guess this goes underneath. These two holes go underneath the coil. I thought they rested on top. Sorry.